Hello, uh, today we're going to be looking at wiring up a simple solenoid valve. Uh, the whole rig will be shown later, but for right now let's start with the circuit. It's going to be pretty simple. You're basically going to use a digital pin to turn on a relay, so let's get started. Um, first thing we're going to do is connect uh, power and ground from our Arduino board. I'm using the Arduino uh, micro for this. So we'll run one rail from power and then let's add another wire to connect uh, to ground. Next we need to add a line for our digital I.O. I'm going to use the other side of the board so it doesn't become too uh, too cluttered, so we'll place this. Uh, this line is actually going to go into a transistor or BJT, and so what we'll want to do is actually add a resistor for this also. So we'll use a 1K resistor to match the base current to what to the specs for this particular uh, BJT. Now we are ready to add the BJT. So the first pin on here is the emitter, the second is the base, and the third is the collector. So we're going to start off by uh, connecting our emitter to ground. So we'll do that real quick. Um, next we want to make a connection to our base. Uh, the base on the transistor is the second uh, pin in, as we can see. So as our first was uh, the emitter, uh, the second one is the base, and the third is the collector. Um, make sure you use a resistor to actually limit the current that goes into the base, otherwise you could uh, end up uh, frying uh, your device, which is not something you probably want to do. Um, so uh, kind of straighten out things here and let's move on. Alright, so let's uh, add our diode. We're going to take the diode from the collector uh, to the supply rail. And we're doing this so that uh, if there's any voltage spike when we disconnect uh, from the coil of the relay it'll be fed through this diode and not through our transistor. So let's now add our relay. Be hard to tell from the well from the video but um, this relay has two different uh, contacts on each side and so basically you control you can control uh, two switches with this um, we're just going to use the one side but what we want to do is uh, run a line from our supply to one side of the relay or one connection to the coils and then we're going to run the other side of the relay to the collector of our BJT so now that we've made this connection, our circuit is all but complete. Um, the next thing we need to add is the power supply for the uh, solenoid, and that actually runs at uh, runs on 12 volts. So I'm going to use a wall wart to actually power that. Um, I have a little barrel jack uh, adapter that I kind of put together. Um, we're just going to run these two. Uh, wires power and ground uh, to the other side of our uh, proto board. So we'll just uh, plug those in right here. So the last thing we need to do on our breadboard is connect the common line of the relay uh, to our ground connection. The other connections we're going to use, well, I'm just going to actually use uh, alligator clips to run to run those lines just because I don't really have a place to put the board so it's going to have to be a little bit further away from the solenoid um, but now let's take a look at our entire rig 
And uh, basically I just have the solenoid hooked up to a water source that's just a bottle. And we just want to see if we can turn on the solenoid and have uh, water flow from uh, the bottle into this coffee mug. So let's hook, uh, hook up the rest of this and see if we can accomplish that. So here's a bird's eye view of the circuit that will make uh, the solenoid run. So I think I misspoke and said that we had the common connection to ground. It's actually to the 12 volt power supply. And those are the connections on the solenoid. But now let's see if we can hear it run. Um, I'm just going to use a modified uh, blink program. And we should hear the relay opening and closing. It'll make a distinct switching sound. As you can see, uh, we don't have a really good uh, flow. Uh, turns out that this uh, valve is rated for a higher pressure than what I can provide with uh, the setup I had. But you can hear that water does run when you turn the valve on. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, check out my website for more information. Bye.